injury and appeared to be on the right path. But LeBron missed 17 straight games and wound up playing a career low 55. This weekend, he was asked about his first season as a Laker. Let's hear it from him. For me personally, it's a disappointment uh, for, my, for myself because I hold myself to such a high standard. Um, disappointed in my body and the way it reacted on December 25th. Um, I just know that I have, um, I know what I came here to do, and, and that's to um, put this franchise in position to play meaningful basketball games in April, going into May. And at that point on December 25th, the way I lead and the way I preach, it was right on target. All right, Shannon, should the injury be a legit excuse for LeBron? Well, sports sometimes isn't black and white. I don't think it's an excuse, but I think it offers a, an explanation to why the Lakers' season didn't go as well as we thought or as many thought that it would. Um, it's hard for me to believe that if James Harden misses 18, 17, 18 games, they're going to just cruise right along. Mm -hmm. We saw Steph Curry miss 12 games and Kevin Durant lead the Warriors to a five and seven record. We saw that. We don't have to speculate and see what would happen or, or this is not conjecture, Skip Bayless. This is fact. Hmm. And you got so hung up. And I told you, Skip, stop doing that. You got hung so hung up. Can you pull that? Can you put the tweet up? Can you put what he oh, tweeted? I, I'm glad you're showing yeah. this. He put the tweet up. No. He says, dodge the bullet. Sheesh. Praying hands. I said, Skip. To the almighty above. Yes. Mad That's long. unnecessary, Skip. Okay. You, you. Hashtag back in no time. I know it by heart. Yeah, yeah I know you we do. know it yeah. now. <laughs> I said, Skip, he's injured more than he's letting on. But this is what LeBron knows also. He says, I tore my groin. Skip Bennett's going to come out here and others all Wait, those. I, I haven't even seen I'm, I'm not talking about, I'm, I'm saying what you okay. would have done oh. if he had tweeted that he had torn his groin. Skip Bayless and others like Skip Bayless. Okay. Why would LeBron James reveal that information? Why would he let let uh, uh, the, the world know and the team knows mm. that he's that? We don't need to know that. Just heal up and come back and play. Mm. He tries to take the other approach. Why is LeBron still alive? He, we did it. I mean, he played that, had that tweet pulled up like 16 times. Mm. 17. Yeah, exa exa yeah, because that's the number. That's the number of game that he's times. Yeah. And LeBron was not healthy when he got back. See, because it was a double whammy. He got injured on Christmas night, and so did Rajon Rondo. The two guys that can run the offense or put them in the best situation. Yeah. As Le LeBron called them, our two masterminds. Mastermind. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. The brains okay. of the operation. Yeah. I'll yeah. give you that. That didn't, that didn't help. No. Okay. And so... And I believe he came back prematurely because he talked about it also because we didn't play all of it. He saw the lead starting to slip away. And he wanted to go back out there. And the training staff like, hold on, wait, wait, wait a minute. Mm. Which means lets you, uh, offer you a glimpse into the mind because guess what was happening? As he's rehabbing, he sees the games, the losses start to mount. I need to get out there. And he comes back, and he's not 100%. Mm -hmm. But to the greatness of LeBron, let this sink in for just a second. He returns, and he wasn't healthy. Mm -hmm. But even after he returns, 27 and a half points, 8.7 rebounds, and 10 assists on a bum growing. Mm. Can you imagine? Does that sound like hitting the wall to you? Because mm. guess Tell what? Me when it's my it's turn. not your turn just You're yet. You're asking me a question? I'm not asking you. Okay. Uh, you. Just hold all that information. I need you to digest this, and then you can regurgitate it when it's your turn. I'm but about in the to regurgitate. But in the meantime, I need you to listen. <laughs> I'm just about to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, Skip Bayless, okay, they got him. Everybody get their opportunity. This is your opportunity. Mm -hmm. Because for the first time, He's not going to be in the playoffs mm. in a very long time. Yep. And he's not going to be in the NBA Finals. Mm. But mm. we'll talk about this a little later. He'll be back. I miss him. I know you do. My turn. What do you think? Thank you. Yes. I am sorry. I'm not going to give LeBron James another bogus excuse. Oh, it's bogus now. All he needed to say was, obviously, we had a disappointing season because there was a lot of contributions to the disappointment. 
We had a disappointing season, and I will bounce back better than ever next year. That's all I needed to hear him say. But he always has to plant a subliminal excuse in the minds of the billions of blind witnesses out there, as he did after they got swept by Golden State last year. And he goes up to the podium to do his post-game interview wearing a soft cast on his shooting hand. Stop it. With his hand broke? Just stop it. Yes I don't no. have any idea. Did he play with it? Yes. Yeah. What is the Shannon Sharp mantra about injuries that I have heard for two and a half years? Heck, going back to my days, our days together on ESPN. Yes. If you put on the uniform yes. and you step onto the field or the court, yes. no more excuses for injuries. Is right. that not what Shannon Sharp said? That's says? what I said. Okay, thank you very much. So now I, I have to go back to, let, let's do the chronological order here. Because December 26th, I'm sorry, let's start December 25. I'm going to go back to what he told Allie Clifton. He says, I'm on a routine fast break. Draymond kind of gets his hands on the ball. I lose it a little bit, and I tear my groin. That is quote, unquote, to Allie Clifton. Yeah. I tear my groin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The next day, he has an MRI, a soft tissue 3D, mm -hmm. in which doctors can see tear or no tear. They, they announced that it was a grade two strain, which is a, it's pretty serious, but it's not a torn groin. And he has the audacity to now be calling it a torn groin. I tear my groin, he said. Yeah. But the next day, the MRI says, no, you didn't. That is, MRI didn't say that. Okay. That's what the Lakers released. Okay. Well, okay, so did they lie about it? Yes. What, what good would it do the Lakers to lie about it? Because them? they want to conceal, just like LeBron wanted to conceal the extent of his injury. I know, Teams but, do it all the it's time. it's not like in football where if you have something that can be hit, it, that you don't want the other team to know you can hit this, you can't really hit a groin unless somebody tries to kick you in the groin like Draymond. Well, they were playing Draymond. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, so he, I mean, he'll rock again, there's, there's no, there's no reason to try to protect a right. groin. Okay. So he does tweet this, and I'm going to still take it to my bank. Dodged a bullet with an exclamation point. Sheesh. Praying hands to the Almighty above. Hashtag back in no time. I believe that's exactly what happened the next day. They said, LeBron, this could have been a whole lot worse. You still have a chance to be back in three to six weeks. You calling the man a lie? I, I'm, I, he's not lying here. After that, I think we got some, some revisionist history going on. I do on. not. Okay. So... Then we get three weeks into this. We get to January 16th, which is a Wednesday, and the Los Angeles Lakers released this. LeBron James was evaluated by, by team medical staff and physicians today. Uh, he has been cleared to return to practice commencing next week. So I'm going to say that could be the next Monday, which right. would be about the 23rd. Okay. And that causes a fusillade of, of retribution from one Rich Paul, right. his agent, who goes on a media tour called our Chris Broussard, who's going to join us here in a little bit on the show, mm -hmm. called everybody. He called The Athletic, Sam Amish, and this was the quote to The Athletic. We don't give a you-know-what, and he said the word. We don't give a you-know-what, what nobody thinks or says. We're not on nobody else's timeline, said LeBron's agent, Rich Paul. He was steamed about this, exactly. and I'm going to assume that LeBron was steamed about this yes. because they, he felt being pressured to get back. Am I right about that? Right. Huh. Okay, so then he waits, and it ends up being five weeks and two days before he plays again. So they said three to six. So okay, it's just inside of six weeks, okay? And he comes back to play, and to your point, he goes, he, he averages from that point on in the games that he started, he averaged 36 minutes, 28 points, nine rebounds, and 10 assists. Not once in that time, as I'm watching his performance, I'm just doing my eye test, did we ever see him protect the, the quote-unquote torn groin leg? I didn't see him limp. But I didn't see him all. gimp. I didn't see him flinch. I didn't see him wince. I saw nothing that told me he's still favoring or protecting the torn groin leg. I'm sorry. I didn't see it. But didn't you see him hit the wall? Okay. Isn't that what he's doing? Everybody say he's hit the wall. He's done. He's no more. He see, averaged, did you see he that? He averaged 28, 9, and 10. No, but, uh, okay, well, time out. Pre-groin, quote-unquote, torn groin, pre-Christmas yes. Day, he averaged 27, 8, and 7, and he comes back 28, 9, and 10. I think that's proof positive he was just fine oh, when he came hold back. On, so wait, hold on, if, if you have a torn groin, you're not coming back in, in three weeks, I mean, uh, five weeks and two days. Oh, wait a minute, oh, I, I just want to make sure I'm hearing you correctly. Now, <clears throat> just I, I wrote this down. I got a photographic memory. Mm -hmm. You said he was averaging what before he got hurt, Skip? 
What was his number? 27, 8, and 7. 27, 8, and 7. Pre-groin injury. Pre-groin. Right? Post 28, hold, 9, and 10. Hold on, Skip. Hold on, hold on. That's torn. Hold on, Skip. Hold That's on. torn. Skip, hold on just I'm a second. I'm torn. Skip, I just want you to hold on just a second. I just want you to hear me out. Mm-hmm. 27, 8, and 7. Mm -hmm. Pre-groin. He's in the MVP discussion. Post-groin, he comes back 27, 9, and 10. Mm -hmm. He hit the wall. I'm confused. What do you mean he hit the wall? That's what everybody tell you. He's done. I, I never said he hit everybody the wall. Everybody said he hit the wall. That's what they, 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 no. the, People are saying no. that he's yeah. on the Yeah, he's on the decline. Okay. The they, problem was that the team's record after he returned was 8 and 13 yes. in the games he played. Yes. And pre-torn groin, yes. they were 24 and 10 after they beat Golden State at Golden State on right. Christmas Day. They wiped them out. Right. And yet, the 24, I'm sorry, uh,